Hey YouTube, here's a quick um, setup tour of the interface for my Asus RT AC68U AC1900 wireless router. Okay, so I put in the password for for um, the uh, GUI. Uh, normally, the the interface is accessible uh, via its IP address, which is normally 192.168.1.1. If you still have not uh, changed the default um, uh, IP of the router, so just put it in the, into the browser. Then I hit uh, sign in. So these are the features um, of of the uh, wireless router. You've got it's uh, categorized into two uh, uh, two things, which is the general and the advanced settings. For the general. Um, you've got here the network map that's the first uh, interface which is um, selected on the top here you can log out and then uh, reboot it also uh, tells you what operation mode uh, the router is in uh, right now it's in wireless router but you can uh, add it as you can set it as a um, access point or a repeater you've got here the fir current uh, firmware version and you've got the two SSID for the 2.4 gigahertz and the um, wireless signal for the 5 gigahertz. Okay, under the network map, uh, it says here uh, the status for your internet uh, connection, whether it's uh, connected or not. You've got here also the one IP address. You've got the uh, DD DDNS. Um, it tells you the security level, whether it's um, if you've set up a password or not. If you can view the uh, clients here um, right now I have uh, three clients uh, which are listed you can also um, view by interface whether wired 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz you can see here the clients name under this column the clients IP address the clients Mac address the interface and the uh, transfer rate and the access time here you can also hide by clicking this one also uh, says here the uh, USB interface um, if you click here I have a USB which is uh, connected on my router you've got here the information on the right side um, the model name the available space the total space whether it's set as a media server and um, um, you can also launch here let's say if you click this uh, go you can uh, launch the the download master in another page okay and uh, if you'd like to remove it you just simply click to remove okay it has also a USB uh, 2.0 uh, at the back um, if we go back to uh, network map there so on the right side you've got here a quick interface of the system status you've got um, 2.4 5 gigahertz in the status for the 2.4 gigahertz you've got the network SSID the authentication method you can set it into uh, other method um, the encryption and you can set here the the key you've got here the LAN IP um, and uh, also same with uh, 5 gigahertz and its uh, status you can see here it's it, it has a dual core you can see here the utilization of uh, the CPU and uh, RAM um, okay if you go to guest network you can enable um, to um, uh, up to three uh, guest network um, you can um, um, you can uh, state whether it's uh, an open system um and uh, you can set uh, whether you can access uh, intranet you can uh, enable mac filter okay so basically uh, those are uh, the guest network uh, this provides uh, internet connection but restrict access to your local local network so that, that's a difference of a uh, guest network um, you'll give them uh, internet but uh, you won't be able to res uh, they would uh, restrict uh, your access to local network so you can enable uh, three 
gas network for its uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz interface for the ai protection um you can um um uh, this is an ai protection together with uh, trend micro um, it would use uh, real-time network monitoring to detect uh, malware so you can enable um, um, uh, network protection you can uh, scan you can also uh, block uh, certain sites and um, um, if um, you can also enable uh, vulnerability protection so these are the settings that you can set up for the network protection and uh, again uh, this is uh, in partner with uh, trend micro so basically you can either scan and uh, turn on these uh, options right now i didn't um, um i didn't uh, set this up yet uh, but i'll be checking it uh, at a later time you can also set parental control so from the name itself uh, parental control you can uh, block uh, unwanted um, access to certain websites this is for your protection uh, for your uh, for children okay so you can also um, enable uh, web filters let's say um, um, you can uh, block uh, adult uh, websites or p2p file transferring uh, transfer in the streaming and uh, entertainment so you just you can add this so so I'll be um, checking it at a later time and you've got here the time scheduling you can uh, uh, allow or set a certain time for a client's uh, network usage so you can just simply turn on uh, or off uh, this uh, setting all right so for the adaptive uh, qos you can um, uh, you can have a uh, bandwidth uh, monitor here you can uh, monitor the usage of each of the device which is connected to your router and uh, under QoS, so it's basically quality of service. Um, and you can, um, if you enable this, you can set certain priority tasks for certain applications. Let's say if you enable this, um, you can uh, select a priority mode depending on your network environment. You can also customize um, a certain category let's say for game so this one this is suitable for playing internet game um, so it can boost your uh, gaming bandwidth um, it has a category for um, let's say Diablo uh, and um, uh, you can stream game in Xbox and uh, this one is for media st uh, streaming suitable for playing video streaming and make sure um your viewing experience okay and this is for the web surfing for general browsing and you can also customize it based from the setting that you want now for the usb application by the way you can um you can also enable the web history so you can view the latest sites that um, your clients have been accessing lately so this is a very good um, option so you can monitor certain sites um, that is um, being accessed by your clients you've got here also the traffic monitor you can um, uh, monitor the traffic uh, via the interface um, either um, wired wireless or 5 gigahertz and under USB application, these are basically the applications for USB. You can enable uh, AI disk. Um, you can set up the uh, FTP uh, address. And um, you can set up a DDNS here. Um, you can uh, you can enable the media server functionality here. You can uh, enable iTunes server. You can set up an iTunes uh, server name. You can uh, enable DLNA, so you can use it with uh, other, with your other DLNA um, um, DLNA hardware, which is um, could be your TV or if you have a receiver. You can put in also a media server name. You can set uh, if all disks are shared. You can also set here um, if you'd like to enable uh, Samba. 
Okay. And um Okay, and uh, also for the FTP share. Okay, so yeah, so that's it. Um, you can uh, you can enable the FTP. Um, you can also enable um, uh, anonymous uh, login. And um, here, going back, so uh, you can also set the network uh, printer server. Okay, so but uh, this would require to. Uh, download the asus easy uh, printer sharing and uh, another one you can uh, switch to usb mode to use uh, 3g 4g usb wireless dongle or android phone as a usb modem so there you can uh, enable this uh, mode <coughs> you can uh, also enable time machine so you can uh, back up um, uh, you can back up your your uh, devices uh, through your uh, uh, OS 10 uh, machine or, or Mac and um, you can uh, this is the download master this is uh, what I like most here so you can uh, it can your router can serve as a NAS you just have to install uh, or enable this uh, download master so let's say for for mine um, I can add uh, another torrent link you can uh, remove those who have completed you can pause or resume and uh, that's it for the download master it can serves as a NAS when you have a USB device connected to your router and if I click uh, home alright so basically this is for the wireless again um, you have the general tab here you can um, select which uh, band uh, you'd like to edit whether 2.4 or 5 gigahertz again um, uh, you can set up the network name or SSID based from what you want you can hide the SSID you've got here the wireless mode whether auto or N only or both uh, AC and N or legacy you can set the control channel here the extension channel which authentication method those uh, basic uh, stuff for the WPS you can enable Wi-Fi protected setup um, you can um, um, you can set this up as a uh, wireless bridge and uh, this would allow basically your router to connect to an access point uh, wirelessly And you have also the wireless Mac filter, so you can uh, um, filter certain Mac address, which would uh, allow control uh, from the devices that is uh, connected to you via uh, wireless LAN. And uh, for the professional, so uh, you can set up additional uh, uh, parameters for wire wireless. Okay, I didn't set this up. I just have to familiarize uh, myself with this uh, settings now for the LAN this is where you can uh, you can change the IP address of your router so for mine I've uh, accepted the default one which is 192.168.1.1 for the DHCP server you can uh, enable or disable certain the, uh, the DHCP server you can set the IP pool uh, starting address and the ending uh, uh, ending address so you, let's say you can you want to start it with uh, dot uh, 30 or uh, you can set also the IP uh, pool uh, ending here okay so so you've got here also the LAN route okay you've got also the switch control here okay for the when all right 
so uh, you can enable here the if you have a dual uh, one support I mean a dual one <coughs> okay you can enable here dual one so you can have a uh, failover for a secondary one connection as your uh, network uh, backup access you can also set the port trigger the uh, port forwarding here uh, DMC uh, this is where I set the DDNS uh, I used the no IP um, but you have to sign up here for uh, no IP.com um, I've put here the username and the password which I've set up for no IP and uh, that's it so this is um, I've set up a DDNS using uh, no IP my host name is uh, techonsite.ddns.net you can hear uh, you can also set the NAT uh, pass through here okay so for VPN you can set up the VPN here if you'd like to enable a uh, uh, virtual private network for the firewall you can enable firewall by default I enabled the uh, firewall here and for the administration okay so uh, this is you where you can set up the operation mode you can set it up as a wireless router a repeater or an access point or even a media bridge for the system okay so yeah this, so you can put in the uh, router login name and uh, password uh, the time zone okay You can allow certain uh, specified IP address only uh, that you'd like to connect to your router. Uh, you can uh, set here the firmware upgrade. You can check whether you have the latest uh, firewall, uh, I mean, a firmware connected. So I'm using the la latest one. You can also browse a, a certain firmware uh, if you've already downloaded the firmware. You can restore or save uh, upload setting. Okay, um, let's say for for this one, uh, I can save my current setting. Okay. Okay, I can keep. So this are this is the setting, which I have saved. Okay, so I've saved it you can also send a feedback alright so you have also here the system log so you can um, you can monitor the certain logs for wireless DHCP port forwarding etc connections alright so um, you've got here also the network tools you have uh, netstat you can uh, ping method Trace route and lookup. Okay, so I think uh, that's it. As you can see, there are um, uh, mass features which um, you can uh, play around with this setting on your router. This is a, a very advanced uh, type of wireless router. So it's somehow uh, sky's the limit. You just have to familiarize with the settings available on your router. So it's me again, Matt or Tech on Site, and thank you for viewing my video. Thank you.